Hello, and thanks for tuning in. All right, today we have a brand new tool we want to check out. The good people over at Fluke sent us this Fluke IRR1 SOL solar irradiance meter. This is going to help us dial in the most power and the location of our solar panels. So it comes in a nice little canvas bag here with a belt clip, and it also has a shoulder strap that comes with it. Inside, you're gonna have the instruction manual. That right there is a temperature probe for the rear, and this is the actual meter itself. So it's quite small. It's about the size of maybe a walkie-talkie, so decent. You can hold it well in your hands. There's a temperature probe there. So we'll go over some of the actual features that are with this tool. It's a high precision monocrystalline solar sensor that's up here in the top. That's what's gonna measure your sunlight coming down. Instantaneously will measure up to 1400 watts per square meter. Uh, it has two options for temperature, the rear external probe or anywhere else you really wanna put it on the solar system or the one that's actually dedicated right on the machine there. It has an integrated compass and an inclination sensor. So all that's gonna help you do is get your solar array situated and up to the best perfect way it can capture sunlight and the most energy for a day. We'll go ahead and turn the unit on. All right, we're gonna see right there, it starts in Celsius. So we will go ahead and press and hold. We'll see Celsius blink in there and we'll turn it to Fahrenheit. And that's the sensor on the back here and we'll go ahead and just touch it. And as you can see, it's going up. That's not re measuring anything yet because we're indoors right now. We can hit the function button and you can see, we'll set it on the table there and it's got the inclination. We'll go ahead and raise it slightly. And as you can see, it does have an incline. It also has the compass feature there, which is telling us in degrees where we are so we can point the panels. And in this area, we wanna be due south, so about 180 degrees. Let's get this thing outside and on the array, see what it can do. All right, we're out here with the Fluke IRR1 SOL the solar irradiance meter. We're gonna check out its features on this array and see what we're getting. So we're gonna turn the unit on now and we're gonna go ahead and switch it to Fahrenheit. All right, we're, we're reading 107 degrees Fahrenheit here on the panel and 1,055, we'll call it, watts per square meter, which is very good. So we'll come over to the function here the compass function is not gonna work because we're at an angle, but we're showing right at about 54 and a half degrees of an angle. So that's actually really, really good for this time of year in February in the southeastern part of the United States. We'll go back to the meter here. And normally you would be, we have this stuck on here with a piece of tape, but normally you would be holding it in your hand so that you can angle it up and down. And we'll show you guys, as you can see, we're losing watts per square meter now. When we come back, we'll be gaining it. So that's what you would do to kind of adjust your array to see where you're falling in. We have the temperature probe on the back of the panel. So we'll see 105 here on the front now. We'll plug it in and we should see the back of the panel now at 114 it's a little warmer there so as you can see we can get readings from both the front and back we'll unplug this and it swaps right back no issues and we're reading again about 1055 watts per square meter when installing solar you want to be above 600 at least okay we got the fluke irr1 sol out there on the solar array and tested it out. It gave us instantaneous feedback on temperature, inclination, and the amount of solar energy or solar light hitting the front of the panels. And we were able to check that we were right within that spec range of about 55 degrees for our area due south. 
The measurement range is negative 90 to 90 degrees. Also, if you're on a roof and the panel's mounted at a different angle, you can lay it flat on the roof, turn the unit on, go to function, and go ahead and zero, hold and zero this. And now we're back at zero and you'll start measuring true angle of the panel from the roof angle. So that's also something that's good that this uh, little meter takes care of. Also, it's IP40 rated, so a little bit of rainwater on there is not gonna do any damage to it. So we think that this is a great tool to help you hone in and get every ounce of power out of your solar array. So we hope this helps. Again, thanks to Fluke for sending this out to us to try. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.